What's going on guys? Let's talk about Venom trailer 2 for a second. And in this one, I'm not necessarily doing a breakdown and pulling it apart piece by piece, but I did want to talk about some of the new things that it's shown us, but also because it's been on my mind, I also wanted to do a spill about the idea of this universe, this alternate universe with Venom, without Spider-Man and where it could go. And we may or may not see a version of Peter Parker in this film, but even with it standing totally separate from the MCU, the Marvel Cinematic Universe has already in a way made it a part of the MCU. And by doing that mainly through Ant-Man and the Wasp and introducing alternate realities, which we'll see much more of in Avengers 4, this concept will allow not only for the Venom film to stand alone and have the liberties to do what it wants, and when I say liberties, I really mean do what we want it to do, which, which really isn't liberty. <laughs> But if at some point they wanted to visit this universe, if the films do well, which I hope they do, but if they wanted to make that connection, they can because it's really already been established. And I wanted to just get that off my chest real quick, kind of had that in the back of my mind after watching Ant-Man and the Wasp and after watching Avengers Infinity War again this morning because I'm not even 100% sure that I would even want that. I still got to see the film in October. And then from there, I'll kind of reassess and make my decision whether or not I want that to happen. But the MCU definitely needs a Venom either way. And hopefully we get that possibility somewhere in phase four, maybe with the Spider-Man and Guardians team up, but who knows, we'll see. But as far as the trailer, just sharing my impressions because I really feel like this is a what you see is what you're gonna get type of situation. And at this point, I like what I've seen. Even without the web shooting or the spider on his chest, it still feels like Venom to me because in the comics and Lethal Protector specifically, Venom used similar tactics even after having been bonded with Spider-Man. So it's not like that part of the trailers is deviating from the source material because quite a bit of it holds true from that perspective. And if they are building a Venom franchise Franchise, which is done well, then this will open the opportunity for us to get a Venom franchise in the form of an Elsewhere story that focuses on Venom heavily because even at the point where we get a Venom in the MCU, whoever that may be is not going to dive as deep into the Venom character as it can with Sony because in the MCU he just wouldn't be the focus anytime soon. But with an established successful franchise, and I'm being positive here, but with an established and successful franchise, whether it be with Sony or whether Disney buys it later on, this could work to establish the narrative for a character who's not only explored more than what we would get in the MCU, but it also lends for the opportunity to establish a history that has existed in their universe that they don't even know about until the MCU introduces symbiotes and they find out where they really came from and having that history springboarded from a successful established Venom franchise this lends for Marvel to have an existing two maybe three movies that they could pull from and roll stories into other characters existing in the MCU if they want because they've already made it make sense but when I watch this trailer and see new footage I still hold it loosely to the canon where Spider-Man brought the symbiote here after Secret Wars and I look at it more like something from the What If series and it's an alternate reality that will have much of the similar history because the directors did say that the symbiotes share history from Clintar which will very likely be the premise of Venom versus this other symbiote who I'm pretty sure is going to be Riot because of the grayish color in comparison to the deeper black of Venom himself and because all the other symbiotes created in Lethal Protector like Lasher, Phage, or Agony they were either like a different color or they didn't have like the Venom mouth. But also with this part that we've seen from the trailer, when Venom is fighting Riot, because Sony's been talking about doing more than one film, and I'm pretty sure they're gonna set this one up to launch another sequel, I really feel like during that fight, and very likely right here, we'll see Riot tear a piece from the Venom symbiote and just discard it, just tossing it away, and that piece we'll see later on, along with Cletus Cassidy, and set up Carnage for the next film. Maybe even showing the two of them like bonding in the post credits or something like like that because I'm pretty sure they've spoken about interest of bringing in Carnage in some type of way and in the scene where we saw Carlton and man this is kind of turning into a breakdown but either way with this scene where we saw Carlton Drake inside of the symbiote I do kind of feel like I wanted this to be a surprise like later when I see the film because in the comics I believe it's actually Trevor Cole who is Riot and he was just one of the mercenaries who was hired by the Life Foundation and given a symbiote but in the film I can understand them changing it to make it a bit more personal and on that note as far as the other shot we got the symbiote with the yellowish color for whatever reason in this trailer I feel like it was lit a bit better and you can definitely tell it had more of a yellow color to it which could later turn out to be either Scream 
or phage, which were two other symbiotes of that color that were spawned from Venom in Lethal Protector by the Life Foundation. And we may or may not see that manifest in this film, but at least it's set up. And another thing I do like that they kind of set up shots where we may see Venom reacting to loud sounds, which is what it looks like, like something screeching like crazy and is just driving them nuts. But it looks like they're going to put some form of that in there to show us, okay, this is also his weakness. And a lot of that may happen towards the end in that fight, where we'll also see what happens when he's exposed to fire, which is another weakness, which Carlton Drake already knows and will more than likely avoid, and use that to his advantage to get the upper hand. But yeah, man, those are my thoughts. And Oh, as far as dude at the end, because we've seen for most of the trailer and most of the scenes, it being a struggle between Eddie Brock and the symbiote to actually complete their symbiosis and really become Venom. When we get to the point where he stops this mugging, it feels like it's going to be real late in the film because at this point, Eddie and the symbiote have finally come to an agreement and found that happy median where they can coexist. And I'm pretty sure at some point that's going to feel a lot like the DC Damage comics where when he's human, you hear the voice in his head, but after he changes, you you actually hear the human version speaking from the back seat. Just a thought, I think they might kind of take that route of execution in the film. But those are my thoughts for the second trailer, man. I, I just hit record and just started talking and it's okay. Might be a little bit all over the place, but that's where my thought process was watching this. As of right now, I still feel like it's gonna be a solid film, but I know we're also due for one more trailer but I don't wanna to see too much because I like to be surprised. And that's why I don't mind the film changing things from the comics because if they do it directly, we just know everything that's gonna happen already. Oh, and one more thing, I'm sure right here in this scene is gonna be a lot more people there and more heads rolling in the film because it's, it's just gonna be crazy like that. <laughs> but that's it, I'm done. So that'll do it for this one, guys. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below and we'll do it again on the next one. All right, later.